something on website, what will you do? What will be the first website which will come to your mind? Search it. Google. 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 Yeah. Google. <laughs> you have to search for a friend. Where will you go? Facebook. Maybe Facebook yeah. or some other mm -hmm. site. Insurance companies, uh, loan companies, banks. I work for Social Security Administration, SSA. Everything, everything is uh, compiled into a single industry, software, IT. Today we are going to talk about what processes these companies follow. So I'm Fulkit, before I begin, I'm Fulkit and uh, SDLC, Software Development Life Cycle. In the end, we will see why this process is called Software Development Life Cycle. These are the six phases of software development life cycle. The first is planning and analysis. The second is requirement gathering, design, development, validation, and support. I have to read my writing clearly. <laughs> planning and analysis. So here we talk at the business level. I'm taking, a, taking an example of the loan application, a loan company. So tell me one of the famous loan companies here. And any bank or bank of America. Let's take the example of Bank of America. Mm -hmm. Initially, they used to work on papers. Every application was based on paper. Um, the employees they used to approve their application signing. That's all. We want to move our application to electronic systems, not to IT and software. Mm -hmm. So let's say our two business goals are to move the paper-based application to electronic application. Uh, let the employees sign the documents or approve the documents electronically. So those two are our business goals, the scope of our business, that's where we want to be. That comes under planning and analysis. In this phase, we see what are the risks associated with the business goals. Uh, my current system is manual, my uh, 2B system is electronic. What is the gap between that? This is called gap analysis. The risk in achieving this goal from this point, risk analysis so on and so forth. Then comes requirement gathering. So now in this phase, we give details to the business goals. What is the, uh, here we define the scope and uh, here we give details that uh, why this goal is feasible, what will we attain if we achieve this goal, and uh, like business rules. An applicant will be, uh, we will approve the loan of the applicant only if the credit score is more than, let's say 570. Mm -hmm business rule, then uh, employee with ABC privilege will be able to approve or deny the loan. Not all of the employees of Bank of America can approve or deny, but all of them have electronic signature. So these all business rules and functionalities goes in requirement gathering. Now let's take example of Facebook. You click home page, a certain page is displayed, you click profile, a certain page is displayed. What all fields like your name, your photos, uh, your friend information, everything. These are the details of these functionalities we defined in requirement gathering. This goes in design here. So in terms of loan uh, loan application, I will say field label, like uh, to display user name to, or to display user ID mm -hmm. or to write it as login name. And suppose password, some companies want the password should be uh, having a spe special character or digits. Everything goes in design. Development part. Now, how many of you heard about the developers or let's say about software languages C, C++, Java, yeah. database? Yeah. So uh, these all things come under development. They use the documents we use in requirement gathering and design. And developers, they, design the, uh, they develop the application in this phase uh, using these languages and softwares and tools. Then comes validation. Uh, this is one of the important part of the software development uh, life cycle. Uh, it produces <coughs> maximum number of jobs. Let's say 60% of the jobs of the complete life cycle. Why is it important? Suppose uh, 
I wrote in the in the requirements that I want the field name as username. But the developer he thinks with this, I just want to make application work, and he writes this as login name. The job of the validator or the validation analyst here is to verify the application which is developed is in coherence with the uh, documentation and field names and everything defined in these documents, which we develop in these two phases. Uh, and believe it or not, without the validation, 70% of the application fails rigorously. Then comes, well, I forgot one stage here, then comes deployment. Deployment means uh, your product is re ready to be released in market, and you can give it to the user, so you can sell it, you can market it. That comes deployment. Last is support. Support means when the users are using the application, they come up with some new requirements. Let's say that uh, I want the date to be displayed on the Facebook homepage. This is one of the requirements. So they can report uh, this thing to the planning and analysis team or to the Facebook or loan automation home uh, business team that if it is possible in the next, next product, can you please give this functionality? So they take ideas from the support and maintenance phase. And now, the ideas and support uh, and challenges and requirements, they become the basis for planning and analysis of the next product. Maybe after uh, 20 years, they want their application to be working on iPhones and in the, uh, on the smartphones. Initially, they just used to work on web browsers. So that becomes a new requirement, mm -hmm. planning and analysis. Mm -hmm. So that's why this is called software development life cycle. It goes on and on and on, and SDLC. Yep. Yeah. I've got a question. Are computers deciding whether people get loans or not? That was just an example. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I know the loans. Because logic. I know if they put all this data in, and all that information in, uh, I and mean, there are scores and all that, I mean, they could probably put all that information in there. There are applications which uh, lets the user, the employee, enter all the all the information which user gave to the employee, and then they, the application give you the risk percentage or something. Right. But how risky it is to give loan to that person? Right. So they're uh, pretty much decide. And way. there are multiple criteria like uh, credit history, just one of them. Credit score. Uh, wow. Right. Yeah. It's a matter of matching the criteria to what the person right. wants. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a little more human touch. <laughs> but the final decision is made by the authority, the final authority who has the privilege to oh, okay. approve or deny. Gotcha. Good. So somebody mm -hmm. does at the end of this get a chance. Somebody looks at it somebody, right? right? right. <laughs> I think you feel better doing yeah. this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like wow. Okay, comments for Pulkit. Did an excellent job. I learned yeah. from Yeah, he did thing. excellent but sometimes oh, he was yeah. checking his phone. He was just looking at his phone. I was Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at you. Right, absolutely. It's amazing how when you're being taped, it, it can change your, the way you do things. Yeah. <laughs> was that looking too much at this? Yeah, I was looking at the Again, I think you took something that could have been, again, just, just like, um, you know, the, the one on the heart. It could have been so complicated, but you made it really simple and straightforward. And when you're teaching steps in something, that's what you've got to do. So you, you, that was very successful. Absolutely. It's a great diagram. Yeah. Yeah. Great yeah. job, man. Everything. Yep. <laughs> from, from the beginning, you were in control. Yeah. So next time, I mean, can I ask you questions on SDLC? <laughs> sure. Sure. Yeah. 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 I bet we'll remember. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Sign of a good teacher, right? When the students remember. And uh, I forgot to ask this: How many of you are in IT industry actually, or, or none of you? You are. So, was that okay? Yeah. Uh, what's, what's, what's